Hey, 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 look at that, would you? Technology is my friend this morning. How are you doing today? It is Monday. What is today? September the 25th. Thank you for joining me for seven minutes in the morning. Our little daily get together every weekday morning here where we try to start the day off with uh, at least a decent cup of coffee and, um, I don't know, some inspiration, motivation for you for your day. So, whether you are watching live or watching on the replay, either way is great with me. Just drop me a comment down there. Let me know that you are here and uh, I'll appreciate that. So good morning to Jeremy, Keith and Joe. Keith, I assume since you are here that you got there okay uh, on that return trip. I know that that was probably not. <laughs> oh, no, I won't say that. You know how when you go on vacation... Oh man, you go on vacation, you're anxious to get there, then you get there and you spend some time there and you really enjoy it, but God, you just want to get back in your own bed sometimes, right? So you're anxious to get back, but you're not anxious to leave. It's just so confusing. So I hope you guys had a good trip, made it back there safe. Good morning, Joe. Yeah, made it back home. All right, good. So uh today, man, and I... Totally blew it here this morning. I didn't have my quote ready. <laughs> um, so I saw it come, come by this morning. So I have it texted to me every morning. And I saw it come by this morning and thought, yep, that's exactly what we need to talk about today. And I did not have it ready. But look, there it is. So this morning I want to talk to you. I want our, our time together. I want to challenge you about being creative. I used to say... Now, I used to say, I still say quite a bit. No, well, okay, so here's the thing. Creativity, we can, we all express creativity and sometimes in different ways. But most of the time when we think about creativity, we think about artists and writers and, you know, creatives. But we all express creativity in one way or another. And I had this, I said, I made a comment one time, um, and I got this feedback from the comment. I said something along the lines of, I don't have a creative bone in my body. You know, a website looks great to black letters, white background, looks great to me, right? And then this person I was, actually it wasn't even the person I was talking to, it was his wife. She um, taught me that that was the wrong way to look at things. <laughs> I'll just say it that way. Uh, and she was very persuasive. She kind of laid into me on that. But the the quote, so that's kind of the setup for the quote today. Comes to, from one of my favorites, man. And he's not even one of the people that you think about as, uh, you know, the great, I don't know, business thinkers. But uh, Einstein, he said, creativity is intelligence having fun. Creativity is intelligence having fun. Now, I want you to think about this for just a minute. Our five-year-old granddaughter came and spent some time with us this weekend, most of the day yesterday. Actually, she spent the night Saturday all day yesterday. And so just watching her play, right, to get to have all of her little, and she loves these little teeny tiny pieces that hurt like the dickens when you step on them. But... Um, she had them all spread out on the table and she had, they all had their own roles and this was the teacher and they were the students and this was the mom and the sister. And I mean, had it all figured out. And she was just having a fine time in this little world, having a good time. Now, but if you listen to the conversations that were going on, the things that she was saying, the roles that she had assigned, to these little toys. There definitely was some intelligence built into that. If she had played with the same toys, I don't know, three three years ago, when she's two years old, she would have used them more like building blocks, probably, instead of using them like people and assigning them roles. Right? So now that she has gotten smarter, she has been involved in some of those roles, she's been going to school, she has a teacher, she has classmates. All of these things are beginning to gel for her now and that she applies that intelligence to the creativity that goes into 
play. All right, so now let's come back. If that is, if, if a five-year-old can do that, what can you do? How can you apply intelligence to a problem, to a circumstance, to a situation, to come up with a creative solution? Our job as business owners is to solve problems for other people at a profit. Even, even if we are employees, the employee solves problems for their boss, hopefully, at a profit, right? So if our job is to solve problems for other people at a profit, we solve those problems by applying creative solutions. If we apply the same solution that everybody else does, then we're a commodity. There's nothing that makes us stand out from the next guy. But if we can come up with a creative solution to that problem, now, now we're turning into something special. We are distinguishing ourselves from the rest of the group. And it ultimately allows us to demand higher prices because we're better, right? All because we applied a little bit of intelligence and create to, to achieve some creativity, come up with a brand new answer. Where does that intelligence come from? God, it's that thing I stay after you all the time about. Self-development, self-development. Read, 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 right? Read all the time. Do you know Warren Buffett reads three to four hours a day? Every day, and I, you know, you might think, ah, yeah, he's Warren Buffett. He's got more money. He knows what to do with. He's got the time to read. Do you ever think maybe he's got more money than he knows what to do with because he reads? Hmm. That allowed him some intelligence to create some creative solutions, and I don't know, causative or corollary. I think causative. All right, so. I uh, hope that was a little, at least a little bit helpful for you this morning. Hey, Rich, man, good to see you. Hadn't seen you here in a while. Glad that you made it. Uh, I hope that that was a little bit helpful today. Apply some intelligence, create some creative solutions to other people's problems. That's what's going to set you out from the rest of the pack. Leave me a note down there. Let me know uh, what kind of creative solutions you've come up with that you're particularly proud of. And look, there's nothing wrong with being proud of them, right? I mean... That's, and, and look, if you don't promote yourself, who's going to do it? Nah, not very many people. That's the answer to that. So when you come up with those creative solutions, share them. Get comfortable saying, hey, you know what? I saw a problem like yours not too long ago, and we were able to come up with a unique solution for that person. Let me, let's sit down and talk for a minute, see if we can come up with something for you. See how easy that was? All right, that's it for today. Be sure and tune in again tomorrow. There will be some disruption in the show schedule this week. We've got some special things going on. I'll fill you in on all of those tomorrow. Uh, just be sure and be here for that. 7 o'clock Central Time right here on Facebook. Uh, if you find our conversations particularly helpful, I would appreciate it. And your friends will too. If you share this video either with your entire network, click that share button down below, or... If you have one friend in particular you think would benefit, tag them in a comment. This will show up in their uh, feed, and they will get the benefit from this also. I will talk to you again tomorrow. You have a magnificent Monday, and I'll see you then. Take care.